Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday, April 17th, 2024. And got some green coming in today. Dow up a quarter percent. NASDAQ up a little under a half percent. And S&P futures up a half a percent. So pretty good bounce overnight. And the VIX is down three over three percent. Still, I mean, relatively high for what we're used to. Seventeen point eight two. Morning, Chris. Morning, up here. See, as far as stocks go, NVIDIA up a little under a percent. Target up a percent. Most everything's about a third of a percent to a percent, and just about everything's green. Intel down a half a percent. Morning, VJ Riley, and welcome. It's like Boeing's down, Baidu, they're in the red. Other than that, a lot of green. Hopefully we can get... Hopefully today, I mean, even though yesterday was profitable for me, it's I, it just seems like those days when you get 10, 20, 30 point moves in 10, 15 minutes, they're just more stressful. We just like to see them. I mean, I, the big moves up and down roller coaster, just much more stressful than what we like. So play for. Zero DTE, it's a little calmer day. And there is the bell. NASDAQ starts out up 64, S&P up 19. Uh, yeah, so today we trade the ones closest to zero. So would be the two DTE, two days to expiration. Not the not the nine day. The only time we do the following week is on a Friday, which we haven't done a this live stream on a Friday in a while. I, it's not actually Friday is not really my favorite day to do these, so.
lot of green on the board. Got some stocks pushing down here. We got stock coming down, VIX coming down. Dow up one forty four. My tech stocks come down. Getting our start of our second bar here. Be looking for a volume runner here out of the gates. That's a volume bar as big as the first. We're bigger and in the same direction. Apple pushing up. Right, blockchain, getting a volume bar that's pushing up if you would like a 
smaller stock to trade. It's too small for me, but. Coinbase also getting a bar that's going to be as big as the first, but it's in the opposite direction. So won't be in on that. And do you position size any differently from Mighty 90 Bar Runner? No, my position size is the same. I always position size so that I can add to it. Hopeful that the Vix doesn't just get crushed all day today. So Riot Blockchain almost there. Other than that, there really is a lot of sm a lot of small volume here on the second bar. CVNA, I I don't even know what that is. What 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 is CVNA? I've never traded that. Huh. It's weird. It has a bar that is red and then green, even though they both look green in terms of price action. Yeah, too too small for me. See the oh, wait, no, that's 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 the wrong one. Never mind. CVNA. Too wide a too wide a bid ask. That's probably why I've never traded it. Uh, at the money calls are two thirty and two ninety three. It's way too wide to trade. So when you trade the these these strategies, you don't want you want the bid ass to be tight. Now we'll look for some mighty nineties. So far, nothing looks very promising. You don't like to get volume like this out of the gates like NVIDIA. Or it's kind of just stair-stepping down. <laughs> Uh, Meta, Netflix, Tesla, Boeing, Baidu, Disney, AMD, Win, Intel, all in the red.
Goog pushing up. Microsoft getting strong. VIX coming down. Bummer. NASDAQ, though, is, hasn't done much. And yesterday when Jerome Powell started speaking, I was, just couldn't, couldn't believe the price action. He literally basically said a greeting, like, you know, thanks for being here or whatever. And the market immediately dropped like 20 points. <laughs> just saying, just a greeting. I'm like, good Lord. Goog, put Goog in here, might have a mighty 90 developing, Netflix might, have, well no it's not going to get there. You can see Goog just I would like to see more volume pop there. Technically, it qualifies, but let's see if it'll push up a little bit more. Yeah, I like to see a little more separation there. So we'll see if it pushes up one more time. All right, Goog, I'm going to jump in. Oh, man. Well, that's well, it's CDNA still. I'm going to look at getting short. Goog. On the 160 puts. Trying to get filled. Originally was thinking 220, might not be able to get that. Well, let's put it at 220 and see if it comes up and gets us. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, technically, yeah. But I like to see it push up a little bit more. That's why I set it at two, 220, but it doesn't look like it's going to hit us. I'll keep it there just in case it flips, pushes up. Yeah, see, like this NVIDIA volume, like you just don't want this, like the stair stepping downward. All 
Oh, Wynn had a volume runner, downside volume runner, but it hasn't bounced. All right, I'm going to cancel my Goog. Bummer. I could have just been aggressive and jumped right in. I saw I get down to like 227, 226. But it's now coming down. What else we got? Video really kind of pushing down here. NASDAQ touching lows of day. Not seeing anything else. Let's check when. Yeah, there hasn't been much today. So if you're new, we just don't force anything here. Winds bouncing a bit. Did you did you get in good, Chris? I'm going to get short win here for a downside volume runner. It's like a fairly low risk trade. Ninety nine puts. Go to the buck thirty six. Win right here. <clears throat> so it had it had two big red bars for downside volume runner, and then it bounced. And so my exit point would be if it comes above this red bar right here, where the last big bar was. <laughs> so if it pushes above it, it's going to be a, you know somewhat just small loss. And I would get out of half at buck fifty. Whew. 
what else we got. Seems like when it's falling asleep. Yeah, so not many, not many uh, setups today. We can just get a little drop in wind. That would wouldn't take much, I don't think. Literally hasn't moved this whole bar really since I got in. NVIDIA, a little bit of a mighty 90. Again, it doesn't have the best separation there. It's already bounced, so. Ooh, Meta's got a nice mighty 90. Ah, oh, don't, no, leave me. How did I not see that? Come back down one time, Meta. So you can see on that mighty 90, like, if you're new... That, that's the type of separation I like to see in a Mighty 90. Clear volume pop. Darn it. If you can get in down here, I think we probably already booked 10%. I, I don't know why I missed that one. But that's what I look for in a Mighty 90. Now, it could push down one more time. And then I and then maybe I'll get then I would get in. But it may not. No. Shucks. That would have been a good one. I mean, that's a classic Mighty 90 setup right there. Right there. When man, this just comes down a little bit more. I'm be golden. I mean, you could tell the difference between um, that meta. What was the other mighty ninety I was looking at? Well, I mean, look at Nvidia. You could tell the difference. It still might come back down. We'll see. Things kind of feel like they're getting weak. Vic's coming back up. I'm about five cents away from getting filled on half my win. When when sometimes the option, like the bid ask, it's a little funky. They can be wide sometimes. I don't trade win a lot because of that.
And when it doesn't move, like it's not moving at all. I mean, you just can't book any profits. That's also why I look for, you know, what's the range of the stock? Well, I mean, if it's a really tight range, sometimes I won't get in either. Meta would have been a good one. Tesla coming down through lows of day, continuing to get hammered and setting up for a potential mighty 90 in Tesla. Build at a buck 50 and win. There you go, win. Ah, look at look at Meta, darn it. All right, Tesla is going to get a mighty 90 here. So I would trade the 500 calls. I'm just going to jump in quick here. We got 15 seconds left. Okay, and then I'm not going to jump in with that price. Let's see if it comes down here. See if it gives me a push down in these last 10 seconds. Oh, shoot. I was on the wrong stock. I was on Meta. Glad you said something. Glad I didn't place the trade. Uh, 152.5 calls. Oh, give me a push down. Give me a push down. All right. Put it at four bucks. See if I get filled at four bucks on the one fifty two point five calls. All right, I'm going to jump in here. Yeah. Is it going to hit me? Get out of another win as well. Build it a buck seventy and win. Get out of another. Build it four oh five in Tesla. And the one fifty two point five calls. And I would close half at 445. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the trades channel. Yeah, I'm, uh, Amir, I'm in, I'm in Tesla, not Meta. And you know, now wind wants to pop back up or what? Bounce. So wind bounced off yesterday's low. I don't want that to happen. Meta hasn't given two green bars yet on that mighty 90 that. All right, I'm going to get out of win. Fill it a buck 50. Just going to take my profits. It's, the range is so tight.
Things getting weak. VIX coming back up to almost where it opened. Baba with a downside volume runner. NASDAQ is now in the red. Vic's popping. Tesla really hasn't moved for me. Yeah, S&P is really, really falling here. Coinbase falling. This is an example of getting a good fill in Tesla. So it's kind of remained red, but it's still sitting about where I got in. Microsoft had a little mighty, had a mighty 90 here as well. Nice little mighty 90 in Microsoft. Tesla does a push down again. I would probably add to it. No bouncing Baba. Yes. Microsoft Mighty 90. That's what we want Tesla to do. Yeah, I mentioned that, but it hasn't bounced. Got an order in at four, four, five, four forty five in Tesla. <laughs> we'll be looking for two consecutive green bars. I definitely like, I would, if I had to choose which one I like better, it would be Microsoft in terms of Mighty 90s, simply because the push down is a bigger push. 
in that five minute range. If you can get good separation and a good push in the, in, you know, whatever direction, that's what you're looking for. You know, Tesla acted like it wanted to give us one green bar. Microsoft kind of reverse there. I'm going to jump in this Microsoft Mighty 90. Filled at 405 on the 415 calls. 415 calls. So same price as Tesla. 415 calls. And I would close half, and you can definitely get a better fill than me now. Well, I guess it's about the same, but um, I, I will close half at 445, just like Tesla. And if they both push down, I will add to them. I don't really consider this a, a green bar out of Tesla. It's pretty much a neutral. NASDAQ's still coming down, though. Here comes Microsoft. So I will add to Microsoft... If it gets down to like 360 ish and it, you know, stops right there. It hasn't, it hasn't come down anymore. Like it, it's come down right to where it bounced. So. Tesla still, man, just hasn't really moved much at all. Wow, the NASDAQ really fallen. Build at three sixty five to add to my Microsoft. And I would close half if it bounces back up to 405, my original fill.
Tesla did not come down far enough to add to it. Darn it. Uh, Microsoft 405, I'll get out of half, which was my original fill. Tesla's still right around 385, All right, Tesla, you gonna make me add to you as well? Gotta come down a little bit more. See if we can get one more push down in Tesla. Man, tight range in Tesla today. It looks like it's a little wider than what it really is. Dow and S&P are still green. Believe it or not. Yeah, it's Microsoft sitting about where I added. And if you're new, like one thing I do, I don't do is I don't look at my PL. Like I don't look and see how much I'm down. I don't look and see how much I'm up. Um, because that way it doesn't affect my decision making. Like I know based on position sizing what is what I'm okay with in terms of being down and being up. You know, I'm okay taking a, you know, a, a loser um, based on what where I'm entering and if it goes bad on me. And that's something I <clears throat> highly recommend you guys try to train yourself on too. You stay more mechanical when you don't look at your P&L and you don't trade with emotions. Tesla kind of back up to where I originally got in. I honestly, to be honest with you, like, I, I like adding two mighty 90s. So getting down in the trade and being able to position size so that when you first get in, you know, it's okay for it to go against you because it can be a real benefit to add to it. There may be a time or two here, here and there when it goes against you and comes up you know turns into a big loser but um it's a much higher percentage that if you stay mechanical and do that then it will end up uh, working in your favor and like my mighty 90 results in the past year have really shown that
start to see some theta decay here if we don't get to move in price action. Man, Micron just bleeding lower. No, no, no green bars after the first one. Yep, yep, no bouncing, Baba. All right, Tesla just gave us one bar, green bar. See if we can get a second. <laughs> it's back up to where I entered. See, the value of adding to it is when it comes back to where you entered, you're booking profits. So Tesla has actually, you know, given us a little bit of bump up, but I'm not booking profits yet because I wasn't able to add to it. So, if, you know, if Microsoft could just get back to where I originally entered. I'm booking profits. <laughs> Come on, Tesla, give us one big push here, Microsoft. Two nice big green bars, then you can roll over and go... Down as far as you want. <laughs> and as weak as things are, probably you would follow the rules and just close the position after two green bars. See, if I was able to add to Tesla here, I'd probably be out of half by now. Man, it's been a struggle to get either one of these stocks to get any upward movement. Come on, Microsoft. Microsoft had a nice little push out of the gates sheesh you can see the tight range just doesn't get doesn't pay out so I probably will be closing my Tesla here as long as it stays green because even though it's might not might be a scratch trade or a small profit. Oh, Microsoft really coming down now. Huh. Sure, what's going on with Microsoft? I guess NASDAQ. Wow, NASDAQ really falling. Man, I was hoping for a calm day for TLC trades. And what do we got? Got this just big push down out of the gate. Yeah, definitely don't want to be in it. All right, so I'm going to be closing Tesla here. It's giving me two consecutive green bars. It's pushed up. Really can't be mad at Tesla. Go ahead and close it here. How much time we got left? Got a little over a minute. Come on, give me one good push up, Tesla. Before I close you out.
One good push up before I close you out. Doesn't look like it's going to give me that push, so I'm going to go ahead and close it. Build at 420 to close Tesla. Bummer. Oh, well, small winner. I'm sure, it'll just rip now. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> ah, you know it gotta love it well at least our new people can kind of see you know what the rules are and how I abided by the rules <laughs> unreal at least, I, hey, at least it's sort of Microsoft rolling yeah, I would have hit my first profit target in Tesla by now. All right, Microsoft, let's go. I got an order at 405 to close. There you go, Riley. Come on, Microsoft. You're so close. There we go. Build at 405 in Microsoft to close half. That's it, Microsoft. Oh, yeah. Get out of another Microsoft at 440. You can see the, I mean, hopefully, like, if you're new, like, this is what a Mighty 90 should do. So I'll be getting out of my Microsoft after the second consecutive green bar. Well, is that all you got, Microsoft? You got a minute and a half left. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and wait this minute and a half. Come on, come on, push up. You can do it.
Or maybe you can't. I guess. Break even. What'd you lose in? I had three winning trades. That's it. Good job, VJ. You go by VJ or go by Riley. Filled it. Filled it four bucks to close. Oh, Vic. I may not remember that since it's not part of your name. But uh, out of uh, Microsoft at four bucks. So. $474 green day for me. When we didn't have a lot of options, we, were, we didn't have a lot of setups. So can't argue with that. I will see everybody back during power hour. Talk to you later. Peace.